We are at 120 Carter Drive, the Wise Residence. We have a one-story gable style roof with a 30-year laminated shingle. Predominant pitch is a 612. We have five inch gutters, no gutter guards. We do not have drip edge. We do have felt. There are no valleys. We have standard shingle over plastic ridge vents. There's no collateral damage on the ground elevation. Ridge shingles show some mechanical damages and prior repairs. This is the front slope of the home being the west. These are the back slopes being the east. There's moderate grain loss. Uh, I spoke with the insured last night. He said the biggest concern was a leak around the chimney. I don't see any major issues around the chimney. There's uh, some caulking and prior repair there as well, which he said he had done. I don't see any major entry points for water. Maybe a few small gaps in the caulking, but nothing major. Uh, the ridges are in the worst shape of anything here. Uh, a lot of exposed fasteners and prior repairs along this lower ridge near the chimney. And then the upper has a missing shingle there from mechanical damage. There's a tear in the shingle. More of the exposed fasteners and prior repairs. See there, there's a screw that's been put in. Another broken piece of shingle from mechanical damage. And another broken piece of shingle there. It's been prior repaired. The shingles here above the chimney are still in decent shape. They're still uh, adhered well. They don't want to come up, so I'm not sure what else could be causing the water entry. The seal around the rake there looks good. I would guess the best estimate is maybe some entry at the ridge that's running down and dripping out near the chimney. Again, we are at 120 Carter Drive, the Wise Residence. There are no storm related damages to this roof and that is everything that is on this roof.